You are listening to the Self-Employed Success Podcast. This is your source for inspiration, advice, and strategies for building financial independence without a traditional corporate job. Each episode features interviews with successful entrepreneurs, freelancers, and business owners who have achieved financial freedom through self-employment. Whether you're just starting out on your entrepreneurial journey or you're a seasoned pro looking for new ideas, this podcast will give you the tools and insights you need to create a life and business that you love. Join us as we explore the world of self-employment and learn how to build the income, the freedom, and fulfillment you deserve. Welcome to the Self-Employed Success Podcast. This is the first episode since I've decided to relaunch my podcast. And I want to spend the time to share with you five reasons why I decided to once again relaunch my podcast. If this is your first time meeting me, I'm excited to meet you. And if not, thank you so much for continuing to follow my journey. My name is Martine. I have been online for the past five, six, seven years, almost a decade, in hopes to really discover what else can I do other than working a corporate job. Now, you have to understand as you scroll through this podcast, you will notice that there are episodes and that's because my podcast used to be called Visualize and Create. I loved it. It was definitely aligned with where I was at the time. What you may not know is that prior to Visualize and Create podcast, I had another podcast. That's right. My very first podcast is the one that I started when I first started online. I honestly had no idea what I was doing. I literally got bitten by the shiny objects of the internet and decided, well, if everybody has a podcast, I should be getting one. And so I share this with you because, listen, this is all about the self-employed success. Today, I get to do this, record this without having to worry about showing up for a nine to five tomorrow. Maybe you're there now, or maybe you're planning to be in the same position that I am today where I don't have to go to a corporate job. Either way, you are in the right place. And so as I shared with you at the top of the conversation, I want to share with you the five reasons why I decided to rebrand and relaunch my podcast. One thing that I have experienced over the years being an entrepreneur is that you have to be willing to pivot. You have to be willing to adjust. The market change, situation change, lifestyle changes, demand changes, right? And not for nothing, the time that we spent surviving through the pandemic really highlighted and augmented certain points in our lives that made us think twice about how we lived and how we made money and how we did business. And so I'm no different than you. I had to pivot and I continue to do so. I continue to take inventory and adjust. Hence why I decided to rebrand and relaunch my podcast, and I'll tell you why. And so I have five points here that I'm looking at on my cheat sheet to make sure that I stay on course here and maintain your attention here so that you understand that it's okay if you're thinking right now, should I close my Facebook group? Should I start posting more on Instagram? Should I go on Twitter? Should I go on Clubhouse? Should I leave Clubhouse? Those are valid questions. You have to do what's right for you and your business. That's what I believe. At least that's what I tell my clients. And so the first reason why I decided to relaunch my podcast is because I realized that the podcast original content that I had kind of became outdated. And I just wanted to create new episodes. 
new episodes that were more relevant to where I was right now, where I am right now, actually, is what I wanted to say, and really to touch on where you are, hence why I decided to call it self-employed success. Listen, I lost my job. I was part of the layoff during the pandemic of my corporate job, and if I had started this podcast back then, I'm not sure that I would have been able to bring you value only because I had yet to experience what it felt like to be self-employed. You follow where I'm going? Hopefully you are. And so that was one of the reasons why I decided to most recently relaunch my podcast. And the second reason why, and this is the biggest one for me as to why I decided to relaunch and introduce to you the Self-Employed Success Podcast I have gained new skills, I have gained new knowledge, and I decided that I want to share this with you. And like I shared with you, if I had started this podcast when I first got laid off, I probably would not have been able to give you the value that I know that I can give you right now. Hence, since then, I've been able to gain new skills, new perspective, I've tried so many things and my hope is for you to not have to spend the amount of time, not have to spend the amount of money that I spent to identify how to survive successfully being unemployed because it's possible, but you got to be willing to do it and you got to be willing to tap into resources like this one to listen and question and challenge yourself to say, okay, maybe I can do this or maybe I can do that. Otherwise, obviously, you have the opportunity to invest in yourself, get yourself a coach or hire me as your consultant to dive in a little bit more. But I believe that by you being here already listening all the way to this point, I know that you're very much invested in what I'm about to say because I have three more reasons why to share with you why I decided to relaunch this podcast to ensure that it is successful for you and it's a value. And so I also wanted to revamp the structure, right, of the podcast, the format of it all. So every now and then you will hear episodes of me by myself, um, anchoring and putting into context some of the points that I share on my newsletter, which by the way, I want to invite you to look at the show notes of this very uh, episode now so that you could subscribe for free for my newsletter. And so what I'm saying is I wanted to revamp the format and I listen to a lot of podcasts. And let me tell you, podcasts has been one of the biggest resources while I was working my corporate job that has given me the opportunity to really tap in and building my own brand other than graduating from YouTube University, that is, right? And so I wanted to look into opportunities to reformat and that's what you're going to be expecting to listen to. Yes, you will have the opportunity to hear um, interviews and I'll tell you more about that with other people that are self-employed successfully to inspire you to do the same. You'll also hear interviews with multiple people and myself, right? I'm even contemplating having guests coming on and just taking over the podcast and really diving in with you. And so you are my number one priority and I want to make this podcast as engaging as I possibly can, hence why I want to actively invite you to look at the show notes every single time should you decide to subscribe. And I also want to encourage you to share your thoughts and even email me or DM me on social and share with me your points or even your questions, right? And so I have three more reasons why as to why I decided to change. Actually, I have two more reasons why I'm losing I'm losing count right now uh, of what I um, decided to do as to why I wanted to relaunch. Right. And so my goal with this podcast, right, relaunch the self-employed success podcast 
is to ensure that I tap into a specific audience. Initially, you know, when we're on social, when we're building a brand, we're thinking we can speak to everyone. But as much as this is true, that means you're speaking to no one. And as a professor myself, I'm an adjunct professor, and you hear that story a lot. In fact, if you go in my newsletter, I have an article talking about how to become an adjunct professor and how I did it. You will identify that in marketing, in business, you're better off really focusing on quality over quantity. And you'll find more conversion when you actually hone in on your niche and you build that community. And so as much as I was successful in building my own community, I was able to build a Facebook group community of over 3,000 members in less than six months. Yet, I felt that I was a little bit too wide. Hence why I decided to relaunch and I'm being very selective as to who comes in as a guest in this podcast because they have to be qualified. And if this is you listening and you're like, do I qualify as a guest? You probably qualify, right? And you will find out in a few minutes if you do qualify because I'm going to share with you the type of guests that I know that I will be seeking for to come on so that you could listen to them. And again, get inspired, get tips, get information. Lastly, the reason why I wanted to relaunch is because I was on hiatus for a while with my Visualize and Create podcast. I loved it a lot. In fact, it was not only a podcast audio, it also streamed on Roku TV, Apple TV, Fire Stick, and it was on YouTube. So it was a video podcast, which I enjoyed very much. However, I felt that I needed to readjust it only because the format, again, that is, I understood where you are, right? Because when I think about me in corporate listening to podcasts, remember I told you I used to listen to, and I still do, listen to podcasts very actively. I didn't really have time to watch a 20-minute episode, you know, you'll find me watch an hour long Emily in Paris on Netflix with my daughter, but I'm not going to watch a 45 minute video of an interview. I'm going to listen to it during my commute, right? Or when I'm washing the dishes or doing the laundry, you follow where I'm going. So I decided to go on hiatus and I took a break to really understand where you're at so that I could make sure that I served you well if that makes sense, right? Hopefully it does. So to recap, before I go into what this podcast is about, who am I looking for? Who are you going to be listening to? And mind you, this is just honestly a repeat of my intro that I'm about to share with you. But I think it's so important to repeat and listen over and over certain points in order for them to stick And that could be the professor in me because when I do lecture, I repeat like three times the point that I wanted to make to the class so that it sticks. So that's probably why the approach is that way here now and hopefully you don't mind it. But let's just recap really quickly the high points as to why I decided to relaunch. And I invite you again to engage with me, share a DM, a comment, or a review. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if this resonates with you, where you are in the season that you are in, in your business. Are you questioning the format of how you are showing up most recently, right? Are you currently on hiatus and trying to identify how can I revamp and show up again and relaunch in any size of, in any way of your business, whether it's on your social media strategy or beyond, right? Um, Are you questioning what you've accomplished in the past and wondering, is it still worth something or is it outdated? Can I repurpose it, right? Um, And so if that's all the questions that are going through your mind, then you and I are on the same page because that's where I was and hence why I'm here today 
to tell you that I'm relaunching this podcast. And I'm super excited that you are listening all the way to this point. We're about to end. Uh, but truly, you have a lot of choices out there online. You have a lot of choices on podcasts um, to choose from, yet you've decided to tap in. And so I'm grateful for that. And I'm grateful for you. I appreciate you and I hope you stick around because this time around, I'm not sure that we're going to be doing a relaunch anytime soon. I'm pretty much committed to the self-employed success podcast to be your go-to forever, right? And so let me tell you a little bit more about the self-employed podcast, what it is about, the type of guests you can expect. Again, this is honestly a re rehash is the word I guess I could use of my intro. So listen up. This is what it's all about up in here. Okay. The self-employed success podcast is your go-to source for inspiration. You will get advice and strategies for building financial independence without having a traditional corporate job. Times have changed. Don't you agree? You're probably in a corporate job where you're still working remote or perhaps you're working hybrid, right? Twice a week in the office and the rest of the time you're at home. It's a completely different dynamic and you probably need support in figuring out how to be more productive as a result, right? How to successfully show up in your day job to be able to be a successful entrepreneur. I talk about this a lot and we'll get to talk about this because I'll tell you this much. Being a great employee is the foundation for being a successful self-employed business owner. Trust me in that. A lot of the things that you do in your corporate job today are skill sets that are going to be critical, crucial in your success as a self-employed individual right? And so my goal is that for each episode, if it's not me solo, I will be featuring interviews with successful entrepreneurs, successful freelancers, successful business owners who have been able to achieve this financial freedom without the traditional corporate job, right? And so again, whether you're at a space right now where you're just start starting out your entrepreneurial journey, or perhaps you've seen me on social, you've seen XYZ lady or guy, and you're like, oh my gosh, I want to do this. Or maybe you're a seasonal pro and you're looking for more ideas. I can guarantee you that this podcast is is your source. It's your go to for sure, because I'm going to do as much as I possibly can to give you the tools, the insights, whether it's myself or the guests that are coming on so that you can continue to create a life and business that you desperately love, right? It's a journey. It's a process. You'll hear me say this all the time. I did not wake up yesterday and decided to do this podcast. You heard me say before, this is my third time launching a podcast. And that's okay. If version 1.0 doesn't work, there's always version 2.0. You'll hear me say this very often. And so just quickly, I'm not going to run through all the points as to who's going to be coming on, but I just want to share with you the top three, I guess, of the type of people that are going to come on, hopefully get you excited and perhaps intrigue you to want to reach out and say, what about this? What about that? I'm struggling with that subject and I can tick that and look for someone to come help you. But Essentially, we're going to be highlighting the opportunities and benefits of having a side hustle, right? Whether it's, you know, working with a gig economy kind of uh, gig, listen, the gig economy and the knowledge economy is real. It's here, whether you're door dashing or Ubering or or doing what I'm doing, adjunct professing everywhere. I don't even know if that's a way to say it, adjunct professing. But if you're like me, that's the gig economy. That's the knowledge economy. And if you're wondering how to tap into it, because you are a skilled professional corporate person, you can do it. And guess what? You can even do it while you're at the state job that you have. Okay, it's possible. Again, 
it's up to you if that's what you want to do. But you're already taking the first step by listening to this. Okay. Second thing, and I have two more to tell you as to what to expect here, right? We're going to be sharing stories. I'm going to be focusing on making sure that I share stories of people who have retired early or perhaps have early on said, I'm not doing this corporate job, period, right? And they've successfully been able to do that. And aren't you curious to know how? Listen, you and I have bills, right? Food is expensive now, right? Everything is pricey. But I always say this, do not do this if you cannot maintain a roof over your head and food on your table. It's hard. And so at the end of the day, yeah, we're doing this because we want the freedom. But some of us, $2,000 a month can make a huge difference. Others need that 10, 15K, that 20K, whatever that number is, it's yours. And so the question is, how and why and what are the things you're going to do to tap into to figure out what's going to work for you based on where you are in the season of your life, right? To invest time and energy. Lastly, I'm going to be, other than sharing stories, we are going to definitely talk about different passive income opportunities, whether it's through affiliate programs, making sure that you're strategically thinking ahead, right, on how to build that for yourself. I'll give you a quick example. In fact, we're going to make this an episode too at some point, I'm sure. When I come across an amazing tool that helps my business, I not only purchase it, obviously, because I need it, but I also find ways to get rewarded for having the skill set to use it well, aka affiliate links. And so very, very often you will find me share with you the statement of check the show notes so you could click on this link and get this app. And I will tell you if it's an affiliate link and it will probably be. Okay. And so I want you to have that same process mindset. We should call it right the same mindset so that you're strategically thinking of how to leverage your energy and time of putting your money and trying to understand something, a tool, a software to be able to share it with others and get rewarded for it. Why not? Self-employed is definitely a transition. It is something that you're going to have to, you know, learn through the experience of being it, accepting it, because it's a big difference when you know you have that secure payroll having to show up for it, right? Versus if I don't get off that couch, I'm not going to get paid. How can I make sure that I build myself so that even when I'm sleeping, I could still make sales? Or when I'm out at a conference, I could still convert, right? Because it's possible. I believe very strongly in multiple streams of income with the ultimate goal to build something sustainable enough so that you can invest in non-activity income streams such as investing in properties where you don't have to show up to make that money. Am I at that level today? I am not. And that's one thing you'll find about me. I will keep it honest and 100 with you, right, as to where I am. And we'll probably have to bring a guest to talk about this. And if you're an expert, expert in investment properties and how to build wealth, generational wealth, without having to show up to make money, I definitely want you on this podcast because I'm going to learn from you as much as everybody listening will learn from you and tap into you. And so definitely reach out to me. But that's what I believe it is. You have to start with your skill sets and don't search too far because you've been a successful corporate executive professional. 
obviously you have some great skill sets that you could turn into your self-employed, you know, income generating activity. And in the back end, because we have the internet and powerful, powerful resources, most of them are free to support us in making sure we have that visibility out there online to tap into our target market and as a result, convert, there's no reason why you should not be saying that I converted and made 200K this year, 100K this year, or whatever it means to you, so that you could take that and invest it into other things that are going to generate income for you without even having you showing up for it. I don't know if you're getting excited, but I am right? I'm definitely getting excited. The self-employed podcast is definitely, I have to tell you for me personally, it's definitely the time. It's been time. I've been wanting to talk about building a business on your own or just being on your own every single day. And I have realized that this is my season and this is why I decided to relaunch. And so welcome again. And thank you for listening all the way to this point. And I hope that you will tune in to the next episode. Wasn't this a great episode? Make sure you subscribe, share this with a friend or leave us a comment or a review. Thank you so much for listening to the self-employed success podcast.